Hypoxic blackout is a phenomenon in which a patient passes out from any hypoxic reason underwater. There are two different concepts here that are sometimes confused or, or used interchangeably. In one type of hypoxic underwater blackout, a diver may go down to a great depth, say 60 feet or something like that. So they're doing whatever work they're doing at depth on a breath hold, and then as they come back to the surface, the oxygen in their system is now going to become, in a manner of speaking, more dilute, because as you rise in the water column, pressure decreases, and so the oxygen molecules become further spaced out, and so it's kind of sort of like the oxygen's more dilute. And so sometimes, divers will black out as they're approaching the surface, hence shallow water blackout. Another thing that can occur is people, uh, often very good swimmers, will have underwater swimming competitions to see who can go the furthest. And they'll hyperventilate before they do this, and then they'll swim underwater to see who can go the furthest, and then, you know, that's, that's the contest. Well, what you do when you hyperventilate is you drive down the carbon dioxide level in your blood. Now, this is important because the carbon dioxide level in your blood is what makes you want to breathe. That's what gives you the sensation of needing to take a deep breath. It's actually not the low oxygen level, it's the high carbon dioxide level. So when you hyperventilate, when you breathe off all of that CO2, you drop that carbon dioxide level so you don't have that feeling of air hunger uh, like you would if you were just breathing normally. Now, when you're doing these underwater swimming competitions, you don't have that urge to breathe and so you can black out. And that's what uh, the hypoxic underwater blackout is. The reason you black out is you've used up all your oxygen and you just didn't know it because you've blown off all your CO2.